Hey everybody, welcome back to Sweet Death Entertainment. I am RJ Stone. And I'm AJ Motts. And guess what? There's a certain Sunset Strip band are back. Or are they? Mm. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm still AJ Mods. And I think I'm still RJ. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. You look like him, kind of, sort yeah. of, maybe. You know. Anyway. Fun um, facial hair. We have a great sponsor we want to tell you about. They are called Sweet Death Entertainment. If you go to sweetdeath.net, you'll be able to find all kinds of cool clothes. Like this one. Like this hoodie. It's still a little chilly out. So you need a hoodie. You, you can get different shirts, hats. The hats that you've seen us wear in different videos. Yes. Um, all kinds of good stuff over there. Dog tags, bandanas, all kinds of good stuff. So anything to fit your rock and roll lifestyle. And if you subscribe to our page and then shoot us a note saying, hey guys, I just subscribed and we can verify that, we will send you a free, while supplies last, t-shirt of our stamp or our splatter design. Yeah. Guaranteed as while supplies last. And yes, we still have a few and, of them. Yeah, well, I think we're down to maybe like 10 or something. But, so, but there you go. But get on it now and go over to sweetdeath.net. Link is in the description. Yep. So go check that out. And now, who ba are we talking about? Dokken. Yes. No. Wait, no? No. Kinda. Three fourths of yeah. Dokken. Three fourths? Three, Three fourths. fourths. Yeah. <laughs> Three slash four? Yeah. No, there's no <laughs> slash in Dokken. Oh. Oh, no, he's in a different band. Other band. Another Sunset Tribune. Yeah. Sunset Tribune. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so The End Machine, yes. as they are now aptly titled, mm -hmm. uh, features Jeff Pilson, mm -hmm. George Lynch, mm -hmm. Mick Brown, mm -hmm. of Dokken fame. Yes. And their own solo projects and other stuff that they've done. Yeah. Uh, and then Rob Mason, who yeah. sang for uh, Lynch, Lynch Bob, Bob and uh, Warren, yeah. uh, who sounds a lot like Miles Kennedy. Hmm? And when I first right. heard the song, it's like, is that Miles? And then yeah. you said, no, it's some other guy. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so the band um, have a couple videos out on YouTube. Yep. The album is self-titled. It is called, the aptly Machine. enough, The End Machine. It's out now. You can go get it wherever you buy your albums online. Mm -hmm. We've also found that they're doing a couple of shows in L.A. in April. Uh, I think there's one in Arizona. Mm -hmm. I, I think they're testing the waters mm -hmm. to see what kind of an interest, it, uh, mm -hmm. interest there is. And the tune that we're going to re review is called Leap of Faith. So we're just going to go straight into it here. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? No, let's start the video. Okay. Okay, so right off the bat. <laughs> nice Rickenbacker. It's a really nice Rickenbacker. Jeff, <laughs> I used to I have say, one. I will say this, I talked to a guy who worked at Rickenbacker, mm -hmm. and he says it's Rickenbacker mm -hmm. versus Rickenbacker. Mm -hmm. That's I, what the company says. I used to have that exact base. Yeah. Let's see if I can find a picture of it. Right. Okay, but <laughs> If we have it, we'll put it up. Yeah, ni nice, nice taste. They're sweet guitars, basses. There's Rob. Yes. Can this classify as a warehouse shoot? I think so. Or is it a ruins shoot? <laughs> That's a good tune. So 
so for being you know the pretty basic video that it is, I think they're doing a, a good job of um, splitting up the airtime. Yes. You know, not, it's always a singer who gets like 80% of the airtime and then the guitar player and then like the bass player and drummer are like yeah. kind of left over. Um, so they're, they're dividing that evenly, which is cool. I, I think know. they realize, hey, look, you've got three guys up here that have established reputations and mm -hmm. are, you know, let's face it, a little, little more familiar than Rob, yeah. right? No disrespect whatsoever. Um, and what more, it's not, they're not reinventing the wheel here. Yeah. Let's be perfectly yeah. honest, okay? <laughs> uh, I like it so far. Will RJ get his wish? Yeah, we'll see. Do have a longer kill? What I do like about Rob singing is there is a definite maturity in his voice. Mm -hmm. And he is pulling it off and he is clean. Okay. He's not struggling. He's not straining. Right. You know, right. His wheelhouse. It, it's not an old guy trying to, hey, relive his glory days of when he was I know, 18. Can barely hit him. No, I do like, well, I, I, I like this. Like, uh, George is kind of like updated take on his signature guitar here. Yeah. The little things in life. <laughs> that explains the extra length of the song. <laughs> All right. So, how many takes? How many shoots did they do of the video? Oh, who knows? Um, could have done it. No, no. Depends, I, on how, depends on how many cameras they have. Well, here's how, I, here's how I looked at it. It's like I counted at least three different shirts that George was wearing. Oh, yeah. And then you look Show, at... Showing off the guns there in the tank yeah, top. Yeah, of course. Because he's been into fitness for quite a while now. Yep. And then uh, there's one shot where all of a sudden uh, Jeff's is like just... Yeah. Sweaty profusely. It's like, and then it's like, it's clean. I was like, hardest working man in the, in the room right that's, there. That's right. That's right. 
breaks between uh, Foreigner and everything else he does. Right. So we have to we have to be honest first and foremost. Um, a little biased to this band because yeah. we are friends with Jeff and yeah. his wife, yeah. and uh, uh, so we wanted to give it a fair shake. Um, I think it's it's it's. Again, like I said earlier, not reinventing the wheel. Yeah, it's it's right in their wheelhouse as, as far as like their, not their musicianship as a band yeah. and what they do and what they're known for. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, did they stretch any boundaries here? No, you know, not really. No, but it's but a good product. It's a great song. Yeah, it's a good solid song. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's got a good beat and you can dance to it. And I'm just kind of curious as to who the the driving force was to get this project back on the road, back together. You know, because based on the other video they did, I, I'd almost say it was Jeff. Could be kind of the driving force because just kind of the things you see in the other video mm -hmm. versus this one. Um, but it'd be interesting just to see or to know like who whose idea was it to get the main three back together. And, if and only to we had a way to contact him. <laughs> maybe that'll yeah. be maybe that'll be on the podcast. Hey, there you go. Stay tuned for the coming soon Sweet Death podcast. You heard it here first. <laughs> so there you have the End Machine: Jeff Pilson, Nick Brown, Rob Mason, and George Lynch, and. Uh, Leap you of got faith. Your solo. Well, I'll probably call it a solo and a half. Okay. Hence you the five thirty seven length of the song. Yeah. You know, but good song. Check it out. Um, the end of machine available yeah. now. Available now. Yeah. On all your so local places. Yep. So uh, that does it for this week. Uh, I'm RJ Stone. And or today or or today. Next couple days or you know. whatever month. I'll do that. So that does it for today. <laughs> I'm RJ Stone. I'm AJ Moss. This is, uh, where are we? We're staying metal. And we're sacrificing nothing. Absolutely. Because <laughs> we are all Sweet Death <laughs> Entertainment. <laughs>